Hi, my name's Janelle and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing how to make a tiered maxi dress with these super cute tie-up straps. To make this dress, you will need my hazel dress pattern, which I'll have a link to down in the description of this video for you to purchase. Before I get into the tutorial, I did just want to say that we managed to hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel this week, which is absolutely insane. So thank you so much to each and every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. It honestly means the world to me. And to celebrate, I'm planning on having a cute little sewing date via live stream. So stick around till the end of the video where I'll be sharing some more details on that. So let me show you the inspiration behind this dress we're going to be making today. I was inspired to make this dress after seeing this one on Instagram worn by Chloe Helen Miles and I knew as soon as I saw it I had to have a go at making something similar for myself. Some of the things I love about this dress include the adorable tie-up straps, the fitted bodice that sits right on the natural waistline and that insanely beautiful tiered gathered skirt which we're going to need quite a bit of fabric to make. The fabric that I'm going to be using for this project is this beautiful vintage seersucker fabric in a lovely greyish blue colour, but as it is vintage I only have about 2.3 metres or 2.5 yards to work with. Once you've purchased the hazel pattern you will need to decide what size is best for you and then cut the pattern out at that size. Then start by folding up the bottom of the hazel bodice front and back pieces by about 3 centimetres or 1.25 inch. I'm doing this so that the beautiful gathered skirt will start a little bit higher up, right on that natural waistline. Pin and cut out the bodice front and back pieces, as well as the front and back facing pieces. Next, we're going to cut out the three panels for the tiered skirt, each one being a little bit bigger than the panel before. To figure out what size your three skirt panels should be, use the following ratio. Take your waist measurement and add 100 centimetres or 40 inches to it. Then for the next panel, take the measurement of the previous panel and add another 100 centimetres or 40 inches. And then do the same for the very last panel. I didn't have enough fabric to add 100 centimetres each time, so I halved it and added about 50 centimetres or 20 inches instead. It still gave enough gather though, so if you prefer a less gathered skirt, then I recommend doing the same. Also, you can obviously change the length of each panel depending on your height. Due to not wanting to lose any fabric by having side seams, I wasn't able to add pockets to this dress, but you could totally add some if you have the fabric to spare. Lastly, cut out four rectangles that are 65 centimeters or 25 and a half inches by 10 centimeters or two inches. These will be the tie-up straps. So all up, you should have the following pieces. Now to start sewing. Start by taking your four strap pieces and fold in one end of each strap by about one centimetre or half an inch. And then do the same for the outer edges of each strap. Press the strap in half and pin in place. Top stitch along both edges of all four straps and pop aside for later. Now to make the bodice. Using a water erasable pen and the bodice front and back templates, mark the three points of each dart onto the wrong side of the fabric pieces. Make each dart by matching the two bottom markings together and fold until the top point of the dart and pin in place. Stitch the dart starting from the top point and without backstitching to the bottom of the dart, creating a kind of triangle shape. Once the darts are sewn, tie off the loose threads at the top point of the darts with a double knot.
Then press the darts flat, making sure to press them towards the center of the bodice. On the right side of the bodice front, place the raw ends of the strap to the top corners of the bodice. Next, place the front facing onto the front bodice with right sides together and pin in place along the top edge, pinning the straps in place at the same time. Stitch in place, securing the straps as you sew. Then fold and tuck the facing to the back of the bodice and press with an iron to make the edges nice and crisp. Then repeat this process for the back bodice and the back facing pieces, this time pinning the other two straps we made earlier in place. With right sides together, place the back bodice pieces onto the front bodice piece and tie the two adjacent straps together in a bow. And your bodice should start to be coming together nicely like this. Next, matching the underarm seam, pin and stitch the bodice back to the bodice front at the side seam. Then press the seam flat and the bodice is complete. Now to make the amazing tiered skirt. Start by changing your stitch length of your sewing machine to the longest possible setting. Then taking panel 2, sew 2 rows of gathering stitches along the top edge of the fabric. Gently pull the threads and gather the entire length of the fabric until it's approximately the same width as panel 1. With right sides together, place panel 2 onto panel 1 and spread out the gathers evenly. Then pin and stitch in place. Once sewn, press the gathers with an iron. Now, take panel 3 and repeat this process, sewing two rows of gathering stitches along the top of the fabric and gently pull the threads until the fabric is gathered to approximately the same width as panel 2. Again, with right sides together, place panel 3 onto the bottom of panel 2 and spread the gathers evenly. Then pin and stitch in place. should now have something that looks like this. Next, stitch another two rows of gathering stitches along the top of the skirt and gently pull the threads to gather the skirt until it's approximately the same size as the bodice. Then, with right sides together, pin the bodice to the skirt, again making sure the gathers are spread out evenly. And stitch in place. Press the gathers. And you should have a lovely tiered dress that looks like this. Now all that's left to do is put the invisible zip in the back, which I share how to do in a lot more detail in a previous video, hem the entire bottom of the dress, and top stitch along the neck and underarm edge to stop the facing moving about. So, how does it look?
this tutorial and we'll have a go at making this beautiful dress for yourself. I'm so, so happy with how this dress turned out. I think it's going to be such a nice one to wear on those hot summer days. But as you can see, I have styled it today with my turtleneck, so you can wear it all year round too. So about this live stream, basically I just want to have this really nice kind of sewing date catch up with you all to celebrate 100,000 subscribers on this channel. And I think the best way to do that is with a live stream. So basically I'm going to have a sewing project and you can choose to sew along with me if you like, or just watch me sew whatever I'm gonna be making. And you can ask me questions and we can have a chat. I just think having a cute little sewing catch up would be perfect for this channel and a great way to celebrate 100,000 subscribers. So the live stream will happen on the 1st of August, which is a Saturday at 8.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Standard Time. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you can all make that time and that it will work for you wherever you are in the world. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you can join me. Thank you so much again for 100,000 subscribers. It actually blows my mind and I'm just so grateful that you love watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. This YouTube journey has just been such an amazing adventure for me and I think it's only going to get better. So thank you so much for sticking around. It really does mean the world. If you do have a go at making this dress for yourself, then I would love to see it. So be sure to tag me when you share your pictures on Instagram at Rosary Apparel. And if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching.